Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing uh, my Your Creative Studio subscription box. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. Okay, so I'm not sure whose channel I was watching and they did an unboxing and I'm like, oh, I need that in my life. So I did order the four month subscription. So I should be getting the November, the December, the January and the February. And then I'll see at that point uh, whether I want to continue the subscription or not. But I did want to do an unboxing with you guys. It is already midway through November. And so um, you've probably seen this, but I actually, I, uh, took the tape off but I haven't looked at this <laughs> so we're gonna look at this together on the other side is my address but it does open just nicely and neatly that way so let me I take this out and take the packaging off and I'll be right back okay so this is a paper that was wrapped around it I'm certainly going to add this to my junk journaling stash and I'm sorry if there is a glare on any of these but it comes with all of these. I love these little envelopes, some stickers. And once I show you all the different pieces, I will take them out of the, the plastic wrap just so that it's easier for you guys because I'm pretty sure there's a glare. And this kind of deer theme seems to be their theme of the month. Yeah, these are kiss cut. Oh, and they're washi, so they're very thin. I love that it comes with these little pages of vellum. I'm always on the lookout for vellum sheets, so that's very handy to have. And so let me take out the packaging and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is all that came in. Hopefully you can see it all in the camera. So let's just do an inventory. So you get a sticker sheet, and again, it's a washi sticker. So even though it's quite intense there, once you put on a page, it might actually be a little bit lighter. Either way, I really like it. Um, I got a thank you card, again, with the same branding. I'm loving the branding, all of this. It, it makes it uh, seem very cohesive. And there is one two three that one's beautiful four and five vellum sheets it came with this sticker pack i didn't want to take the stickers out uh, but it looks like there's at least one sheet of all of these these pull a lot more spring than the rest of this collection does but at the same time if you're just using the greens i think it would make a nice contrast between the different greens so that's really pretty it came with these tags and all of the tags are exactly the same there's quite a bit of of weight to it so it's a very thick cardstock but i think that would make a really fun journaling spot um, in your junk journal or just your regular journal it comes with these sticky notes and it's sticky to about halfway and all of the sticky notes are the same i love the detail that it is scalp like this now i subscribed i am not an affiliate i'm not a sponsor i don't have a referral code i'll link it below just so it's easy for you guys but I don't get anything out of it um, but I'm just I'm tickled pink by this these are beautiful I didn't want to take these out again but if you can see uh, these are some very realistic leaves but on a clear backing so um, it'll just pop on the page if you want it to there's all of these stamps they do feel like they're stickers yes they are stickers. They're not washy, so there is a little bit of um, a feeling to them. And I, I say that because in my Hobonichi weeks, I don't want anything that can potentially get too thick. So I might not use them in there, but this certainly would look nice in my Hobonichi A6 Teisho. And they all seem to be animal themed. So not only animal theme, but from different places. So you've got Osterreich, with, which is Germany. This doesn't say, this is Monaco. Oh, 
goodness, these are beautiful. At first I thought it was just a whole bunch of these owls, but it's actually a whole bunch of stamps. I love stamps. I love the deckled edge that it gives, but I also like that it can bring a little bit of color. Oh wow, look at that one. That one's fun. That's just so cute. Oh my, there's a lot more variety than I had anticipated. And it can fit all kinds of themes if you're doing that, because it brings a pop of color or it doesn't, again, depending on the kind of stamp you're choosing. Oh, well, that's fun. <laughs> so let me put that to the side. There is this bookmark right here. It's a um, magnetic, and you can see that it sticks out like that. I probably will not put that in my Hobonichi Weeks because that gets thrown in my bag and I don't want to damage this, but I d certainly can put this on something uh, that I don't have to worry about the edge. I mean, it does fold, but I don't want to have to worry about it. So I think this would actually make a good bookmark. Who would have thunk? <laughs> so there's that. There are these vintage stickers. Oh, and it's nice because they are grouped together. So if I wanted to split this up and send some of this in happy mail, I certainly could. They look like vintage old timey branding and things. Well, some of them do anyway. Cause, and some of the uh, ephemera that I have, I have this, but they aren't sticker. They're just, they're paper. Oh, this is going to be so interesting. And just to make sure. Yep, it's, it's not washi paper. So there definitely is an opaqueness to it, but it doesn't feel as thick as that other sticker, I think it was the stamps. This definitely gives you enough, so if you wanted to share or send some happy mail, you certainly could. Like I have some of these uh, ticket strips that are like longer, but they're not stickers, so I love having the variety. And I love that it's, it's quite the mystery until you open it up, and there isn't anything that I've seen so far that I absolutely do not love. Look at that. And I love that it comes in, it looks like an like old matchbox type of thing. It's so cute and easy to store. Okay, there's that. Uh, I'm sure there's a way that I could have done this where I didn't break that, but I have no chill, so yeah. Uh, so this is a washi tape. Oh, it's more of that deer. Looks like that's where that would begin. Oh no, right there. And it is done vertically. That is beautiful. I love the brown tones. I know some people don't like brown tones, but browns and grays I think are beautiful. I think it's easy to add color to browns and grays, but that is beautiful. And this is a cling stamp. It's a big one. What is that? Oh, <laughs> okay. I don't know who she is, but she's fab. I don't know if you can see her. She is absolutely glorious. Yeah, I don't know if the glare is too bad. Uh, one moment, please. Now I probably should get the plastic thing that holds it down, but I don't know where it is. So we're just going to attempt to use it like this. Oh, and I'm already getting my fingers dirty. I like stamps, but I don't like when my fingers get dirty. And so the struggle is real. Let's see if I can do this without getting um, let's just put this on the back of this. 
if I recycle this card and this, uh, or this envelope, and more than likely I will, I would glue this down anyway, probably. It's nice that it's a foam, so you can really get in there, although I might be pressing too hard. I'm not the greatest stamper. Oh, clearly. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I don't know if, if there is a glare, because I mean, I can see a bit of a glare when I'm looking at this, but it's basically a deer with a mop of hair that I'm kind of jealous of in a little old fashioned outfit. I mean, she's fierce. I love her. She's awesome. <laughs> All right, so there's some other ones, and these are tiny baby ones. And it looks like they must have constructed this together themselves but there's a little deer and then a bigger deer because there's antlers and then even a bigger deer yet because the antlers are the biggest and then that deer right there that's really cute okay so those are those I'll need to clean that off and then this is another cling stamp oh a big deer yeah, that's it for that one. I like the range of styles. I mean, this is clearly a deer, but it's also quite the outlier. None of the other ones have clothes on. <laughs> and then the last thing in the box, I think, is this little notepad. Fortunately, it is glue bound at the top and there are one, two, three and four different styles of paper and again I think this would be interesting to share because you could just very strategically rip the four sections apart so you keep the integrity at the top and then you could rip pieces of this to give to um, as Happy Mail or to a friend and that way you can share some of this because this would make interesting layering pieces or interesting journaling spots in a junk journal and a regular journal however you want to do that if this is any indication of all of the goodness I'm going to be receiving um, I'm looking forward to my next few boxes and again, it is a, I did sign up for the four month subscription because you did get the best deal that way. And I definitely see value in this. All right, well, let me go and clean that stamp off, put this all away. I'd love to know what you guys think. Have you ever heard of your creative studio? Uh, leave me a comment in the comments below. All right, guys, well, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.